renaming caseware files. Now, the thing that you don't want to do is just go into Explorer and rename some compressed caseware file. That's for sure. Because it may not actually, well, it's not going to uncompress properly for starters. And you're going to have a lot of problems with that file. So what we're going to do here is we're looking at one of our sample files. This is the division example file, DIVEXP file. I'm going to rename this file. And in order to do that, what I need to do actually, first of all, is get out of any caseware client file. So I'm just going to go under file and choose close, okay? Now, when I close that out, I'm going to see under the file name uh, menu, rename file. You will only see this once you've exited your caseware file. So that's the first thing, where is the menu option? So I'm going to go into rename file and I'm going to select the file to rename. Now I just had that file open, so it's here, but if it hadn't been here, I could have browsed to the file that I'm trying to rename. So I'm just going to choose that file and I'll call this one new file name. So I've changed it, this will change it. It's going to be located in the same location as before, but now it's called new file name. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to generate a new identifier for this file. Now, if you're just using Caseware or sorry, Windows Explorer, you know, if you move a file to a different location and rename it without doing this, Windows would see this as two files that have nothing to do with each other. The reason we're using this generate a new file identifier, identifier for the file, is specifically for Caseware Tracker and Caseware Cloud. So both of those uh, applications will provide you more information about this particular Caseware file. And if you don't generate a, a new identifier for the file, it will see that these are these two are still the same file. So you want to make sure that if you're renaming a Caseware file to generate a new identifier specifically for Tracker and for Caseware Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and rename that file and uh, just give me one second here i'm going to go back into here let me just get to that directory one second i've got so much stuff going on so i just want to show you what it's done in behind here so i'm going to get to this data directory and uh here we go so i've got a a directory now with a a folder called new file name this was divexp the file has been renamed so if you wondered how do i do that just make sure you close your caseware file and then you have the option to rename the file and i can just enter it normally and now i see down in the bottom in the status bar in the left corner there it says new file name the company name itself hasn't changed so none of the data changed just the name of the file changed